Today you're going to be learning a card trick that fools magicians. The trick is self-working and you can learn it in about two minutes, even if you've got no previous experience. Also, make sure you subscribe if you want to learn more amazing magic tricks like this. And let's begin. The magician has a deck of cards and he shows that all of them are in a random order. He then gives the cards a quick shuffle and a few cuts to mix them up. He then hands the cards to the spectator and tells them to shuffle them up. This is the part that fools magicians, so watch very carefully. The spectator takes the cards and mixes them up very fairly. They then push all the cards together. Burn this image in your head as it's important later on that you remember that all of the cards were genuinely mixed. If we turn over the cards, you can see that they're all in a random order. Everything is clean and fair. The magician explains that this trick needs two piles of cards, and so the easiest way to do this is to split the deck into two different packets. Of course, each packet is full of random cards, and the magician turns over each pile to confirm this. Had the spectator shuffled the cards differently, then the two piles would of course have different cards in different orders. The spectator then has a free choice to choose their pile. They pick one pile, leaving the magician with the other one. Here's what's going to happen. The spectator turns over a card and places it face up on the table. In this case, it's a red card and the magician will take his top card from the shuffled pack and place it a diagonal to the spectator's card. If the spectator is a black card like this, they then put it on the other side and then the magician will take their top card and place it face down in the opposite direction. So this is a red card, so the magician puts his card opposite the red pile. And this is a black card, so the magician puts his top card opposite the black pile. So here you can see how the magician mirrors the spectator's every move. The spectator's shuffled up all the cards and is now turning them over randomly and sorting his cards from being red to black, and then the magician takes his shuffled packet and places the top card on the diagonal to wherever the spectator's card goes. Of course, had the cards been shuffled differently, then the results would be entirely different. The final cards are then put down. The spectator puts down a red card, so the magician puts his card in this pile, and the final card is a black one, so the magician puts his card on the diagonal. Now this could not be any more fair. Everything was mixed up by the spectator because you remember at the beginning, they literally shuffled the cards. Of course, all of these cards here are red, and all of these cards here are black. But would you believe me if I said that all of these cards are also red? And all of these cards are black. The spectator is fooled. Very quickly, if you want to learn five amazing magic tricks that are simply too good to reveal on YouTube, then sign up to my free magic masterclass. Inside the masterclass, I'm gonna be showing you how to read the mind of your spectator. I'm gonna be showing you how to put thoughts inside your spectator's head. I'll be teaching you the same effects that Dynamo uses when people tell him to perform, so you can get amazing reactions like this. What the <laughs> And I'll even teach you the ultimate party tricks that next time you're out at any social event, you'll be able to impress anybody that you like. So the whole thing is 100% free. I really mean it. There's no strings attached. So just sign up by clicking the first link in the description and I'll teach you some mind blowing magic tricks that you'll be able to perform within minutes of learning how to do them. So this is a really powerful self-working magic trick that you can learn in just a few minutes. So what you need is a deck of cards that's got the same number of red cards and black cards in it. So a brand new deck, just remove the jokers and you'll be good to go and if it's an older deck just make sure that it's the same number of red cards and black cards. Once you've done that there's a, there's a setup for this trick that will take about 45 seconds. So what you need to do is make sure that all the cards are alternating in colour. So they go red, black, red, black, red, black. So pause this video, take a bit of time to do that, it only takes about a minute or so and then you'll be ready to begin. So, to begin the trick, you want to show to the spectator that you've got what appears to be just a normal deck of cards. So you turn the cards over, and of course you can't spread them out like this, or they'll see the alternating order. So what you do instead is hold the cards in your hand, 
and using your thumb, just push off clumps of cards to the side. And this just creates the really convincing illusion that the cards in your hand are in no particular order. What you can then do is turn the cards over and just give them a few cuts. And the really cool thing about cutting the cards is it doesn't change that cyclical order that you've already set up. So the cards are still going black, red, black, red, regardless of how many times you cut them. The final thing you do is then riffle shuffle the cards together. So ask the spectator if they can do a riffle shuffle. If they can, then just hand them the cards and allow them to do it. If they can't, then it's fine. You'll do the riffle shuffle and then you, you just allow the spectator to push the cards in themselves. So what happens is you split the cards roughly in half. You or the spectator will do a riffle shuffle and then the cards are pushed together by your audience. So they push the cards together and this genuinely mixes up all the cards, which is what makes this illusion so convincing, yet it still works somehow, um, and as I'll explain later. So at this point, the cards are really now actually mixed. They're not in this alternating pattern, and you can display to the spectator, turn the cards over and just show them that all the cards have been genuinely mixed and shuffled up. However, as you display the cards to the spectator, the only thing you need to do, and this is like the only slide, and everyone who learns this trick always forgets this, so remember this part, is you have the cards riffle shuffled, you turn them over, you display them to the spectator, and just look for two red cards that are together, or two black cards that are together. It doesn't matter which ones, but as you go through, let's just say you find these two here, these two black cards, just split the deck at this point, and then, put the cards back on the table. That's as simple as it gets. You find two cards that are together, split the deck and cut it at that point. Now the deck is set up and everything else in this trick is self-working. So you explain to the spectator that you're gonna, you know, they've shuffled the cards, they've mixed them up, everything is fair. Now you're gonna split the cards into two separate piles. So I'll do that very quickly now. So you split the cards into two piles, you square them up, and remember these are the cards that the spectators themselves have shuffled up. So had they shuffled the cards differently, some of these cards would be in this pile and some of these cards would be in this pile. They can choose whichever pile they like, so they just take this one and you take this one, and you explain how this sort of game works. They turn over one of their cards, in this case it's a black card, and then you don't look at your card, but you just place your top card diagonal to their one. And this whole thing is self-working, by the way. They then turn over their next card, so in this case, it's a red card, and you just place your one diagonal to that, a black card, so you place a diagonal, and you just keep doing this until you get to the end of the deck. So once you've done that, you square up all the piles, and again, that just comes across as so fair and so random because they shuffled, they mixed, they made all the decisions, they chose what packets to take and to keep, yet all of these cards here are black, all of these cards here are red, and they've somehow separated all of these cards as red cards and all of these cards as black cards. So that's how this trick works. It's basically self-working, it's super powerful, and I hope you enjoyed it.